Do you ever feel like you never have enough time? Like you're rushing from one thing to the next? Do you wanna know the reason why you're always late to things? It's because you're an asshole. No, I'm only kidding. You're not an asshole. You're not, you might be, I don't know. I'm sure that there's probably a certain percentage of people watching this video that are assholes, but it's probably not you. You're probably a good person, but you just keep making the same mistakes over and over again and not correcting for it because, well, it's, it's easier not to. Naturally, humans are terrible at planning and poor judges of how long things will take. If you get a text that says, be there in two minutes, that usually means 10. If they say, running 15 minutes late, that definitely means 30. Now, obviously, part of this is your friend just trying to soften the blow and potentially save face, but why were they running late to begin with? I recently sat down for a conversation with the author of Essentialism, Greg McEwen. The full one hour interview is available for patrons at the exclusive videos tier. But the biggest takeaway that I got from it is planning for the unplannable. My experience and my expectation is that unexpected things will come up. Like that is what my experience has taught me. You think it will be like X, but really there will be things you didn't plan for. And that's exactly why you have to create buffer in the system. That's why you should not take on every project you think you can do, even if you're interested, even if it's aligned. In our life, I want to be able to make progress. I want to make steady progress. I don't want to have huge starts and stops. Yeah, it's the consistency that produces incredible breakthroughs. Uh, and Buffer's key, absolutely key to doing that. I love that idea of building Buffer into the system. And it's something that I've done in both my personal and work life over the past few years. For one, travel always takes longer than you'd think. Wouldn't you rather show up at the airport one hour early or do a dinner reservation 15 minutes before you need to just to make sure that you're not stressing out on the way there? The risk of missing your flight, making your friends wait, or losing the reservation isn't worth the few minutes it takes to plan ahead. The worst case scenario is that you wait in your car a couple minutes before you get there. Oh, and if Google Maps says it's gonna take you 20 minutes to get there and you leave 20 minutes before you need to get there, you are an asshole. You're gonna hit a few red lights. You're gonna run into traffic. You'll need to find parking. You need to walk from your car to the restaurant. You're gonna get stopped by someone who had their life changed by your cold showers video. <laughs> okay, that's not true. That's literally never happened. But the point is that there are always gonna be things that you can't plan for that will eventually come up. As a freelance filmmaker, I would do this all the time with budgeting. Whatever I thought the budget was going to be for a project, I would double it. Because it almost always took double the time than I thought it would. This might sound crazy to you right now, but you're probably undervaluing yourself. Most people that I talk to, most freelancers, creatives, most people in general don't give themselves enough credit and therefore undercharge. But if you continue this race to the bottom, you're gonna end up with both less time and less money. Whether you're a freelancer or you've got a full-time job, think about the last project that you had. Did it go like you planned? How many revisions did they ask for? How long did it take for them to get you feedback? Early on, I had one project specifically that just wouldn't end. It was the simplest project you could imagine. It was maybe a 10 to 15 minute video. It was four days of filming. It should have taken a month. It took two years. The client kept pushing back, kept rescheduling, kept coming up with different ideas. For some reason, they just wanted me to be miserable and they wanted to stretch out this project as long as possible. How could I possibly have planned for this? But I could have, and I could have put it in writing in the contract, and I could have made sure that I charge more money than I thought I was going to need to, because it always takes more time. Now, there's no doubt that when you're getting started out, you're gonna have to say yes to a lot more things. You just simply don't have the opportunity yet, you don't have the skills yet, the connection, the resources. You have to take as much as you possibly can. You have to say yes to basically everything. But then there's gonna be a point, hopefully, where you get better. Your skills are a little bit better. You maybe are more interesting, so more people wanna hang out with you. You have more friends. And eventually, if you just keep saying yes, if you keep going down this path, you're gonna have no time for yourself and you're not gonna have any room for buffer. That's why you need to plan ahead. And I think that's the, the biggest idea here that Greg McEwen had was, it's not just about being late to things. It's about the things that you say yes to. It's about actually, potentially, not going out on that date to begin with, or not going to that restaurant to begin with. 
So I think the key is how to not have those projects in the first place. Be careful what you take on. Don't take it on just because you can. Don't take it on just because it's good. Make sure it's the right thing at the right time for the right reasons. Then when you get to execution, there's buffer built in so you can actually spend the extra time you need to. Currently, most of us are in debt when it comes to our time. But when you're selective about the things you pick up, when you think twice before you say yes, then you'll start to feel much less rushed, you'll feel more relaxed, and you'll have much more time for the things that are essential. Thanks for watching. If you want to get my full one-hour interview with Greg McEwen, you can get it at patreon.com slash mattdiavella. In addition to that interview, you'll get access to other extended interviews I've had for this channel. You'll get behind the scenes content about how I make my videos. Why don't you actually go in the back and then we'll, we'll do it in practice because I can see that you're, you don't believe me. I know. <laughs> you'll get a personal look at my life through my vlog and you'll get to ask me questions in my secret AMA podcast. Thanks for considering, it really means a lot to me. And of course, if you do not have the money right now, please don't feel pressured to contribute. I really appreciate the fact that you guys watch my videos. See you next time.